guys it's your boy Ray here and welcome back to another video now very quickly before I go ahead and talk to talk to talk to talk about what's in this video I just want to say sorry for this video being uploaded so late or either no video being uploaded tomorrow which was the 21st now the reason for all that was actually I woke up at 10 o'clock and usually I only wake up Usually I wake up around like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, do commentary and the gameplay as soon as I wake up, and then after that I render out the video. However, my problem was today was I got up around 10, and, ouch, that hurt right there, but I got up around 10, and then I had no gameplay and no commentary. So, for those of you who don't know, it takes three, uh, 2 to 3 hours for my videos to actually render out, and that's probably the reason why... You guys are watching this late at night on the 21st or even on the 22nd, maybe. Someone been wearing my Tritons. They're not the... I think someone has because they're not even. I'll fix it later. But anyway, what I want to talk about in this video today is that you don't really see a lot of people as far as on Black Ops 2. You know, you don't see a lot of people complaining about assault rifles. I mean, sure, you get some people complaining about, you know, the foul and the SMR, but I don't, I don't even consider them as assault rifles because I think they themselves should be in a different category because the whole reason that it's semi-automatic. I do, I know that realistically they are assault rifles, but I just don't, I don't consider the foul and the SMR to be under you know assault rifles just me personally so yeah but let me tell you some guns that a lot of people kind of have had some problems with the scar h nobody i have not heard one single person complain about the scar h uh, i've used it in a couple free for alls lately yes i'm back to playing call of duty that's why you see call of duty gameplay took about a week off from call of duty and i'm glad i did it's not that i got you know it's not that I got really bored of the game, or I didn't like the game, or I got really mad at it. I just felt like playing something different, so I switched over to Assassin's Creed 3 there for a while. So, hopefully a lot of my subs are watching this video, because lately YouTube sub boxes have been screwing up. But I see that they have kind of fixed a little bit. So, if you guys are watching this video, and you're a subscriber of mine, please hit the like button so I know that the YouTube sub boxes are fixed. Um, you don't have to do it for any other video if you don't want to, but please, for this video, hit the like button so I know that YouTube sub boxes are fixed. Alright, so, the M27 is a very good gun. I like the gun. Actually, I have pretty beast game. I actually went 32, 36-2 and two on one of the games with the M27. However, that's the game I was going to record and post up as the gameplay. However... The host migrated at the very last second of the game, so I only have a minute and 55 seconds of it, which is just retarded. But, you got the Scar H, you got the M27, and then you got the SWAT, you got the Type 25, the MTAR, and I think the M8A1, along with the AN94, of course. I think, right? Yeah, I think I named them all, leaving out the file in the SMR, because... To tell you the truth, no one likes the foul because when you when someone sees someone using it, they go, "Oh my God, look at the foul!" You know, they don't like anybody using it. SMR, I don't really mind people using it that much, but we're just gonna leave the two guns out of this. So yeah, but you got the MTAR. The MTAR, no one complains about this gun. I'm not even lying. No one. There is not any complaining about this gun. This gun is actually kind of barely used. You don't see it used that much. It is a very good, clean, steady gun with a good rate of fire and puts out quite a bit of damage. I also like the iron sights on it. It looks very clean, very smooth. The Type 25, I like the normal sights on the gun. However, I will wind up putting a red dot sight on it just for the heck of it. And I just like how much it fires. The rate of fire on it can do a lot and it fires at a pretty good amount of range if you know how to basically stay cool when in a battle of 1v1 I guess you would say where you come across the guy with a submachine gun or a light machine gun you will probably almost win every gunfight with the type 25 the SWAT 556 recently this gun has had a buff that's right not a nerf a buff so in the latest patch they actually made it so the SWAT 556 does a bit more damage now so 
usually it would take before the buff it would uh took two to three bursts more likely three bursts to actually kill a enemy now it only takes one to two and a lot of people like that the swat has been buffed moving on to the next weapon which i think is the m27 this gun like i said i've already talked about it but this gun is definitely my most i love it as far as assault rifles go you got the an94 and then you got the m22 as my favorite okay but the m27 i said m22 didn't i but the reason why i got that mixed up was the m27 is my second favorite after the an94 all right then third Actually, believe it or not, third comes the Scar H, fourth the MTAR, and then you can say whatever you want after that. Now, the SWAT, I do have a gold. It's a very cool gun. Might give you guys some gameplay on that. But I would say I like the MTAR for its sturdiness a bit more than the Scar H. But I like the Scar H a bit more because of how much damage it actually does. So... The M8A1, the M8A1, people, it's a very, very good gun. However, if people see people using full auto on it, they kind of get mad about it. But it's not the, you know, it's not the gun that everybody looks at and complains about every single time saying it's overpowered. Even though a couple times you'll see it here and there in like stuff like search and destroy and stuff like that. You won't necessarily hear anybody complaining about it in free for all or domination saying it's overpowered. The AN94, this is the gun that I like using the most, and actually, believe it or not, this is the gun that when I get into free-for-all and I use, people say it is overpowered if you put selective fire on it. If you don't use selective fire, they're fine with it. You know, they're good to go. But if you put selective fire on it, for those of you who don't know, the, tur the first two bullets that come out the gun are the most damage-hitting bullets, okay? And it even tells you right here, the first two rounds of each burst are fired at a faster rate which means you can put out more damage basically right so that's why you put select fire on it to fire two rounds to shoot a bit faster than normally and also to do a bit more damage in less time however putting select fire on the a94 like i've said can really get on a couple people's nerves but not too many now out of all these guns, I would say the gun that makes people mad the most would probably, most likely, leaving out the SMR and the foul, of course, I would probably have to say I've used all of them, and the one that made people mad the most would have to be the AN-94, if you have selective fire on it. If you don't, then I probably would have to say the M8A1. So, yeah. But... That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys post in the comment section below? You know, rating one through five on what is the the weapon, the assault rifle that you hate the most? You know, which one is it? Leave out the foul and the SMR. Okay, leave those out. Um, but on a scale one through five, one being the worst, one being that you completely hate it and you don't like using it at all. Okay, so one through five. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.